This is our project, the Watchdog. Uh, kind of in short, it's basically a uh, mechatronic solution to prevent package theft. The basic idea is that anyone can come up to the box and then trick, uh, trip a sensor and then place a package in the box, but then in order to get something out, you need the passcode to uh, open it up again. And then the uh, second motivation for the project, which parallels package protection, is the ability to host sensitive objects. For example, if you're diabetic and you routinely have insulin delivered to your house that needs to stay within a certain temperature range, this has the ability to keep that at a cooler temperature, so we integrated a thermoelectric Peltier cooling system. So if you're the mailman, you would basically come up wave over the sensor um, and it's passive infrared so it is a little sensitive so that's why you can't see it it's in the box so it's covered and then basically we have a false floor in the box and there's a, a sensor or it's like a, a limit switch that basically tells us if there's a package or not so nothing's going to happen because the mailman didn't put anything in this could be the dog that, that tricked it so if you do it again and uh, you have your medicine from Spark Fun um, <laughs> for, uh, for your headache. Um, and then it, uh, and that will sense that you have a package, and then it will close and lock. Um, so it's faint to see, but um, this red light basically means that it's locked. The blue light means that the thermoelectric cooling unit is on, um, both fans, because the pad heats up one side cold, one side hot. So the cold air is getting blown over the package at the moment, and then the hot air is exhausting out through this fan and the heat sink. Um, so now that your package is there, it basically waits for the owner or whoever needs the package to, to come get it. Um, so you enter what you think is your password if you're a thief, Oh, what do you know? This annoying beep and it doesn't work. Um, but if you enter the correct password, the box gives you your package back. And uh, it doesn't, basically, it won't close until you take it out. Um, so it's just a matter of it processes based on what's actually in the box and what's not. So when you're ready, you take it out and uh, it re loops to start the whole thing again and uh, eagerly waits for the next delivery. Our door is driven by a rack and pinion operated by a continuous servo motor that you can see this little circle. That's actually the gear that goes on the rack. And then the door is actually controlled by a limit switch here and another limit switch here. So if you wanted to expand the project, all you'd have to do is build out the frame and then it would still operate with the, like, with the current logic. And then the false floor has a switch right here that's uh, coupled with springs so you, so it's like so it can actually sense that you have something and not be on all the time and we use a single pick and an Arduino to control our project the top breadboard has the Arduino and the bottom one has our our pick we have our buzzer right on the inside wall and then our LEDs and our keypad and LCD are all controlled through the colored wires the frame is just made out of 8020 which is a company that makes a bunch of different cross-sectional aluminum members and you can get them to certain lengths. So it's a really basic uh, way to kind of make an adult Lego set. Um, these brackets were just 3D printed along with a lot of the other L brackets and motor and limit switch brackets. We got acrylic to use as like the walls for everything and we just kind of mocked it up on SolidWorks and then laser cut all the geometry we wanted for all the holes. 